These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hello on this Tuesday, I'm Megan Thompson with your afternoon update right now from ABC 15 Arizona. Developing overnight, Phoenix Police working on an investigation near 25th Street and Glen Rosa. That's right near Camelback. ABC 15 photojournalist Danny Bavaro capturing that video for us at the scene. So far, those details are limited. We're reaching back out to police, but they do tell so far on the scene that a crew member was taken into custody there. A suspect was taken into custody. Tragic news in South Phoenix. Now a two year old boy has died after drowning in a backyard swimming pool yesterday. It happened near 16th Street in Rozier. ABC 15 has tracked nearly 20 drownings in the valley involving children and about 50 near drownings. A tower of fire continuing to burn in a Houston suburb overnight after a pipeline explosion was caused by a car driving through a fence and hitting an above ground valve yesterday. Law enforcement says they haven't found anything to suggest it was a coordinated or a terrorist attack, but they're still trying to learn more about the driver whose condition has not been released. The car was burned by the fire at its peak. Nearly a thousand homes were evacuated. Well, the comedy career of Allison Reese started over here at Desert Ridge High School. She wanted to be part of the comedy sketch show, but that was only for student council. Well, she ended up becoming the student body president, how badly she wanted to be on that show. Well, here she is years later. She is focused solely on her comedy, and really a big bump in her career is thanks to her impression of the vice president. On behalf of the people. When Vice President Kamala Harris accepted the Democratic presidential nomination, in the audience was Mesa comedian Allison Reese. I got a seat, thankfully. It was a, a mad dash to get seat. She recognized the importance of the moment because she can thank the Veep for a big bump in her comedy career. How would, what would Kamala have to say about the Arizona heat? You know, I, I love Arizona, but it is too hot. <laughs> I got there and I thought I was in a hair dryer. That impression Allison had in her back pocket from when she was invited to do a comedy showcase for Saturday Night Live back in 2019. It's story time. In that time, Allison has worked clubs, voiced animated characters produced by Stephen Colbert, and she was even in the movie Bros. But she admits... Dude, I was gobsmacked. I was so shocked. The Harris impression is her biggest break yet. <laughs> I knew that things would like pick up if if she became the nominee, but I could not have predicted all of this. The impression has taken on a life of its own on social media, where she has nearly 300,000 followers on TikTok. She got invited to the DNC, where she interviewed Kerry Washington. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. On the surface, it may look just like imitating a political figure, but this kind of satire can help people understand complex parts of politics, cope with disheartening news, and engage people who may otherwise not be interested in policies that shape our lives. Heather Lamar is a professor of communication and social influence at Temple University. But that entertaining piece of it really brings people in and then they will go do information seeking to find out what the comedian's even talking about. So that's really important for undecided voters or the politically inattentive audience. Allison says she knows the voice that she mimics can be a powerful one. When it's brought to you in a fun, lighthearted way, in a way that's respectful to the topic still, it's just only good comes from that. Well, impersonating a president actually goes all the way back to the Coolidge administration. Allison has taken that character where, to a podcast called the NK Podcast. Kind of sounds like Kamala Harris. She interviews people like Kamala Harris. And much of her content is on TikTok and Instagram, which is a key driver for young voters this election season. Reporting in the Southeast Valley, Jordan Bonke, ABC 15, Arizona. Good morning, I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. Very slight chance of a stray shower in that East Valley today and in eastern Arizona. A few showers and thunderstorms before drier air pushes in and we clear out those rain chances this afternoon across the state and then we're dry through much of the week for most of Arizona. For the valley, no rain chances after today, at least not through about Sunday, even early next week. Much cooler conditions. Finally, a break from the triple digits with that high down to 93 degrees in Phoenix today. We're talking highs in the upper 80s out Lake Havasu and Bullhead City, 66 for high today in Flagstaff and 73 in Sholo. That cooler air, it's going to stick around too, with temperatures in the mid to upper 90s Wednesday and Thursday, back down into the low 90s Friday and still in the 90s Saturday before we warm back up. Highs back into the hundreds by Sunday and Monday. It'll be cooler in the high country too, and notice those overnight lows in the 30s up north, 70s here in the valley.
We will have another update for you tonight. Until then, get the latest news, weather, and traffic at ABC15.com, or you can download that free ABC15 mobile app. These latest headlines from ABC15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.